So this is a quick review of the bikes and the gear that we've taken on our trip to France. Um, first of all starting with my bike, it's a Cannondale Cadex, um, started life as a cyclocross bike. It's a bit like Trigger's Broom in that um, I've changed the chain set, changed the brakes, uh, changed the saddle. Come on to that in a minute. Um, but apart from that, the frame, the handlebars <laughs> have stayed the same. Um, so I've got a standard semi compact group set on there now, Shimano 105. Uh, mechanical disc brakes, TRP Spires. Um, in terms of a pump, um, got, uh, the Lizine um, mini track pump, if you can call it, just because you can get tyres pumped a lot better, and it's also got a gauge on it which sort of seems to work. In terms of the luggage, uh, both Joe and I have been running with um, Topeak back loader, mid loader. I've also been running with the Topeak top tube bag and also a Topeak handlebar bag. Um, generally found for our two weeks of hotels and Airbnbs that this has easily been able to take as much as we needed to take. We could have taken more but that would have made, meant more weight. Um, we've not used the full capacity of the backloaders as much as we could have done. Um, so looking at the back loader, uh, within that I've got basically spare clothes, waterproof um, shoes, casual shoes within that. And you see on the top of that I've got the hip lock cable ties, cable tie locks, which we found really useful. Okay, they're not particularly robust, but for a cafe stop, they're absolutely ideal. Um, we found as we got halfway down through France that the saddles we had on the bikes originally were not up to long distance work so we <laughs> emergency ordered some Brooks saddles which was going to be a bit of a gamble because we know they needed breaking in but actually the gamble's paid off and we're now at the end of our second week and not had any problems at all and our bottoms are much more grateful for swapping to the brook saddles and they'll just last and last and last. Within the mid loader um, I've got spares such as um, I've got a spare tyre in there, I've got mechanical spares, um, I've got um, multi-tool, uh, fibre fixed spoke kit, boot tyre, that sort of stuff so it's just, that's just the emergency spares which lucky enough we've not had to use one at all so far. Um, and I've also got things like leg skins, buff, arm skins, head cover in there if needs be. I mentioned about the pump. In the Topeak top tube bag, just been carrying food. So that's going to be um, so uh, uh, cliff bars, cliff shots. I've got my phone in there currently. Um, plus anything else, I want to stuff in there as we go through. Uh, Garmin 820 Edge Explore, which has been brilliant, it's been faultless. Um, so despite what people say about Garmin's, it's worked, the mapping's worked absolutely fine. And then the handlebar bag, we've got um, charging cables, uh, lotions such as sun cream, um, moisturiser. I've got a small fold-up rucksack for me to go out to go and buy supplies and what have you. Um, and one of the biggest things we've had which has really worked has been ASOS skin repair cream so at the end of the day smearing that on your nethers has really really helped produce uh, any sort of saddle sores. In terms of tyres um, on the bike it's been running with Continental Grand Prix GT's 28mm um, again they've been absolutely brilliant um, they're a hybrid between your, your Grand Prix 4000s and your Gator skins, so they've got a bit more side, sidewall protection, but also good good low rolling resistance. And after what is now coming up to 900 miles of cycling on them, uh, and they're showing very little signs of wear, and they've been absolutely brilliant. Grip is good as well, as we've gone down some um, quite fast descents, going around sharp corners, 
and had no problems with the grip at all despite the load on the bike. Joe's bike is a Pinnacle Arcos 3, um, so it's supposed to be described as a gravel slash adventure bike, so designed exactly for what we're using it for. So sit up, set up on this, um, again Shimano 105 group set, slightly newer, so it's a newer bike, running the same tyres. Hydraulic disc brakes, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes, which again have been absolutely brilliant, although we're getting to the light, end of the life of the brake pads now. Um, same situation with the back loader in terms of having clothes in there and in terms of the mid loader, got a few more spares, spare inner tubes, that sort of thing. Again, brook saddle. And because of um, restricted space on the bike, then gone with a small handlebar bag um, from Decathlon, which has been had things like um, uh, food in there, phone in there, that sort of stuff. So overall, the bikes have worked incredibly well. The setup seems to have worked. We've got up the hills pretty well with them. Um, I don't think we could have loaded the bikes up anything more without causing all sorts of issues. Uh, that's where we are.